Okay, this here is the classic Alpha 77. This is not the 77DX or SX. This one here is the original Alpha 77. The production ran from 1972 to just roughly around 1977. This unit here has been completely restored with all new panels, new tubes, new bolts, new switches, you name it. And we're going to give you a little tour around this black beauty. And then we're going to fire it up so you can see it in action. And here we go around to the back of the unit. You see the input airflow. And here is the exhaust. Down here we got connections for RF input, relay control, and so on and so forth. All right, gonna go and turn the puppy on, and let's see how she does. First, we're gonna push the. You notice that the fan starts out very slowly. If you listen carefully, you can hear the fan starts to winds up a little bit here. And there she goes. And when the amplifier is thoroughly warmed up, the meter light will turn themselves on. Right now, they are looking at about 3800 volts on the SSB position, which is the high tab. Let's go to the CW position here. Alright, now we're in the low tab. You see the voltage drops down to just about 2600. It varies a little bit, depends on your line voltage. And while we're waiting for the amp to warm up, on the left side here, this is for the grid, the forward power, and the reflect power. When you apply the RF, you'll see it indicate here on this multimeter. The right meter is the plate current. And tuning and loading is very easy. You got the band selection sphere here, which is a roller inductor. And you got this tuning variable capacitor and the loading control. And it looks like the amp is warmed up. You see the meter light uh, on now. Yeah, let's put it back to the high tap. Alright. Check the voltage. She's right up there. To 3800 volts. Alright, let's come over here to the uh, good old TS950 SDX. And we're going to put it on FSK position. And put a little RF. Yeah, it's about 40 watts into the dummy load. Let's go over to the LP100 meter here. Yeah, 35 watts. Yeah, 35, 40 watts. There you go. These, these DG Ouija meter, you can never tell. There you go. It's all really for about 35, 40 watts of RF output. And here I have another watt meter in line. This is a classic Yaesu YS2000. I really like this meter. It's great to have it in line to help tuning up the amplifier. 
and we're on the low scale which is 200 watt and right there you see just about 40 watts pretty much in conjunction with the LP100A meter all right let's uh, turn on the amplifier here and let's see how she does okay here the M is ready to go we key it up we got very low grid current Zoom into the grid meter here one more time. And the plate. Everything is normal limit. And now we come over here to the watt meter. Notice the uh, scale is on 2000 watt. And we're going to key it up here. Right up uh, just a little bit above 1500. Try one more time. Just about 1500, about 16. And here we'll go to the LP100 to confirm the power out. There we go, 1564. Try it again. 1600, a little bit. Yeah, just about 1600. So that's about 3541. Right here on 20 meter. 14178. The infamous ESSB frequency. However, we're in the dummy load, so we're not gonna jam anybody on the air here. Let's try it again one more time. There you go, 1579. So you got the picture. We zoom back down here to the analog meter. So as you can tell, both meter really shows a nice steady power output from the Alpha 77. One other thing about the amp, if you push all of these buttons out, leave them out like that, you notice all the meter drop down to zero. This is now the cool down mode. Here, let me do it again here. Back in the high tap. Let's put on high voltage, about 3800 volts. If I key it up, you can barely hear the relay. Voltage barely drop, very stable amplifier. Now it's in a cool down mode. And we just wait for uh, oh, about a minute or so for the tube to completely cool down. And we can shut it off. So there you go. That's the good old classic Alpha 77 with a single 8877 tube in grounded grit. This is NA1A in Irvine, California. 73.